you know, I, I just, it felt right in my heart and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I was there just to uh, lead the defense and, and just be there with my teammates to get that way. For it to be the defense to close it out and make the final play, like, is that kind of fitting, you think? Yeah, I mean, it, it, like I said, Mac made a, we, we were nervous, you know, going, I was nervous going into that last minute, you know, I just knew that it was all going to come down on us. And when, you know, when Mac made that last interception, I was just, it was a relief and it was a, it was a great play. And, and I think that was the statement of kind of how my week has been and, and just a statement win. And it was special. What was the balance like, I guess, like did, did you miss any practice time or, how, you know, kind of go back and forth? What was it like maybe, you know, managing the off the field mm -hmm. stuff with, with trying to prepare for a game? Yeah, it was a lot. It, it was a lot, but um, I practiced Tuesday and Thursday and then my dad passed Wednesday night um, around 1 a.m. So I missed that Thursday, you know, but um, so I took a day just to myself and Friday I was back back um, in the stadium and and then I was just getting all the corrections, making sure I was fine tuned on, you know, the um, the the game plan for Saturday. But uh, it was a lot. I did definitely had to compartmentalize everything, you know, to be totally focused on the game. How special was it for Coach Houston to give you the game ball? Uh, it was it was it was very special to me. You know, it was monumental. I didn't know he was going to do that, you know, so I was definitely surprised. But um, I just. Special is really the word I keep using, you know, because like I said, that was one of the toughest weeks of my life, you know, and just being able to get the win, get it with my teammates, and then be awarded that game ball, you know, for my dad and, you know, for the win was just, was just great to me, yeah. This team has shown a lot of maturity level as yes, you've gone through some adversity early in the season. Uh, talk about where this team is at this moment as you head into Saturday's game. Uh, like you said, we are mature. You know, this is a very veteran team. We have some young guys that are playing very big, but at the end of the day, we have a lot of older guys also. And, um, you know, coming off that heartbreaker loss from South Carolina, we really, you know, we were just like, we know what we need to do. We know what we need to fix, and we're going to get it done. So that's kind of the how we're operating as a unit and as a team. It's just I know what we have to do and being focused and getting the job done. As far as the game ball, do you, any early thoughts about what you like want to do with it or where you uh, keep it? <laughs> right now it's in uh, the living room of my house. Um, <laughs> so I just have it kind of sitting right beside the TV. Uh, but I'm going to definitely get a plaque for it and um, like a nice – Something very nice, uh, see through, so I can always be in remembrance of that, and I'm gonna definitely put it somewhere special uh, in the in the days to come. Uh, but for now, it's gonna be you know right there in my living room. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the response after that from your teammates? Mm -hmm. What that moment was like? Uh, definitely a lot of hugs, a lot of support, a lot of I love yous. You know, just. My teammates, uh, I had a lot of people, that Thursday that I missed practice, I had a lot of teammates come by the house and uh, just come sit with me, laugh with me. And uh, that was, that that meant the world to me, you know, because I was feeling, feeling very alone. So when they came and, you know, it was that support for me that, that helped me get through. So after I was awarded the game ball, they, it was just a reciprocation of that, you know, and uh, it meant the world to me. That's one of the things like, the difference between a win and a loss there, mm -hmm. sure. You know, like, yeah. if you maybe would have got it after a loss, a tough yeah. loss. I mean, the fact that y'all did win in that yeah. fashion, how much did that just add to the moment? I, I just think it, it was just a, a summary of, of the week, and it was just a, you know, just especially being down, you know, just being down going, at the, going into the half, being down 17, and then causing that shutout uh, on defense and then the offense scoring and then getting that victory, it was – it just, it was special, you know, and it, it, it was a summary of just the whole day, the whole week, and everything that we've been going through. Yeah. So, so uh, the defense did allow a lot of points, uh, a lot of yeah. yards. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. But you did hold them under their average scoring per game. Mm -hmm. So, um, how do you improve? You did, you know, do good, but how do you improve on a lot, some of those yards allowed? Uh, really just limit mistakes. Uh, there was a lot of uh, mistakes and mental errors and a lot of missed tackles. So, this week we're really focusing on tackling, getting our feet to contact. Um, so, those big plays won't happen, you know, and being very gap sound. Um, in our schemes, and I think that'll also limit the yardage and those explosive plays that were had Saturday. Ali was one of the better running backs you're going to face this year. Mm -hmm. Talk about how he compares to some of the other guys that you've seen. Uh, he was a, overall. Yeah, he was a, he's a very great running back. Um, I wish the best to him for this season. Um, he definitely 
uh, was definitely on the same level as the backs from South Carolina and the backs from App. So, um, yeah, that was just, you know, he's, he's a good back. He's on scholarship also, but uh, we just have to do, do our job and, like I said, being gap sound and, and tackling. You know, we just have to be better at tackling. As a leader on this team, obviously you got a team that's coming in here you guys will be favored against. How do you turn the tape? Because you've been underdogs most of the season yeah. so far. So how do you turn that tape? Yeah, um, I know on paper, you know, we're, we're supposed to be the dominant team. But what I'm just telling my defense, what I'm telling my team is just don't underestimate anybody. You know, anybody can be beat. Uh, this year alone, it's been a lot of more FCS teams being FBS teams that we've seen um, for a lot of years now. So... You know, just stay in focus, know the job that we need to do, and, and get the job done, and don't underestimate anybody. Are you ready to be back in Dowdy Pickle oh, Stadium? Oh, most definitely. I'm ready to get rowdy and Dowdy. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Sounds good. Yeah. Awesome. Miles, appreciate, appreciate you guys. Yeah. 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 Man, appreciate yep. it. Thank, Thank you. Sorry for your loss. Appreciate it. Yeah, sorry, sorry, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.